So we're going to go to see the inside. Who wants to get the detail room back? We document we document a myriad of violations of international humanitarian law, including unlawful attacks against civilians from the air and the ground, how civilians were arbitrarily detained, subjected to torture, in some cases enforced disappearance and extrajudicial executions, uh, a very clear pattern of looting and burning of villages. Um, and all of this, of course, amounts to war crimes and likely crimes against humanity just because of how widespread and systematic the pattern of attacks um, have been. All of this is a continuation of the military signature policy of collective punishment against civilians it perceives as supportive of uh, certain ethnic armed groups or particularly in the aftermath of the coup as supportive of the wider protest movement. So the pattern here is clear uh, that in some cases, civilians were uh, hit using wide area effects weapons uh, uh, in the context of where fighting had been taking place with armed groups. And in many other cases, civilians and civilian infrastructure was deliberately targeted by the military. We also need to see actual steps taken in the direction of stopping arms transfers to the military, because every single piece of weapons and ammunition that's extended to the Myanmar military, we see time and time again how these weapons are used to commit violations and are used against civilians. <laughs> ถ้ามาตรงเวลาล่ะบ่ตรงอ่ะบรูละพันเบวะละพันเนี่ยสิก็นอกไปส่งมาบ่ดูบ่มาอกอลงตรงอะไรไล่ไล่ไปแล้ว